Hello, this is Curtis Rhodes, and uh, as promised, I'm going to continue the uh, series of uh, 3D modeling for trains uh, videos. Um, well, it's been uh, well over two months since I made the last video. So I'm trying to remember where I left off. I think I was showing you guys how <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, to make uh, images in Photoshop um, for use with um, 3D models. And I believe I left off um, saving a texture image. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Maybe I, maybe I deleted it, I don't know. Um, but, uh, so first off, what you're going to do is you're, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to um, map images uh, onto models. So um, to start off, you're going to want to just draw a, uh, a box. Nothing special. Um, set it to uh, about a meter 1M, just, uh, it'll, it'll convert it for you, make it perfectly tubular, and, um, since I'm just all technical, I'm gonna also set it to exactly that on, at the origin. Now, um, what you want to do is you want to create a texture now. The uh, simplest way to do so is by clicking, uh, here, at the material editor, and, um, <coughs> You're going to uh, create a new material, a new standard material, and um, under maps, you're going to check diffuse color and uh, press the none, then select a bitmap. Double click on that and uh, select the image that uh, you created. Um, from, yep, it's still there, the one I made. And um, most of this, most of the settings, the default ones, are good. So what you want to do is, with this window still open, click on the object and press Apply. Now, it's going to turn gray. What you need to do is you need to click, click this blue checkered cube right here. And it will show the, uh, the map, the mapped image. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how, how can I fine-tune this? How, how, how is this going to work? Well, now you can close the, mater the material editor, <coughs> and uh, you can start to map the uh, the object. So the simplest thing that you're going to want to do to start off is uh, go to the modifier list, and um, you're going to want to add a UVW unwrap modifier. Open it up, and go down to select face. Just press that. Then on your parameters down here, just press edit. Just press edit. And what you can do is you can select these corners and drag them around, and they will change the mapping on the image. So to start off, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to resize it to the um, to just the kitten. So what you can do is you can um, select two by clicking and dragging. And just to move move the box so that it just takes up the kitten. And the it's now now all the sides are mapped to the kitten. Now let's say I wanted one of the sides to be a pizza. Well what I could do is I could select <coughs> the uh, particular side, select the face, right there it outlines the face for me, and I can edit that, and, well first you, it, it should be, a pl you need to press planar map, which will set that face to the whole map. And then you'll be able to uh, manipulate it down to the size of the, um, to the pizza. Now, I forgot to cover this. What you can do is you can, uh, select the scale tool. And you'll be able to scale the, um, the box just as you would be able to with, um, the, any other scale tool. And you can also rotate the box. And, uh, you can flip it. Or, and you can also flip it the other direction, uh, if you so wish. But, 
<coughs> mainly we're concerned with just moving um, everything around. So let me just quickly resize that to the, off to the pizza. Um, now this is fairly straightforward. Um, just adding a simple, just, this is just a very simple map. Now let's say we were to delete this shape altogether. And we create a new box. And when this new box, uh, we're going to convert it to a editable poly. Select a few edges. And what we're going to do is we're going to chamfer them. Chain for those. So now there's a. <coughs> so now we have a very uh, complex uh, corner here, and to get that to map right, let's take. Um, we can open it up again, and we can reapply our texture to it. Uh, I don't know why it didn't. Oh. And uh, we're probably going to need to attach the, uh, UV, the uh, UVW modifier. And then you're going to notice the texture looks very, very messed up. This can be fixed by uh, taking the select face, pressing Control A. Or I mean, that might not work here. Um, just select everything, and you can set the planar map. Now, what this did was it took the average of all the vertices and it created the map now let's say i wanted to map it to the x well it helps if i have everything selected but <coughs> you see it draws the uh yellow uh, yellow square and it's going to map everything to that x as if it, imagine it as if you're placing a decal over the shape it placed it perfectly but then it's just going to wipe down the sides and you can do it from the Z, or from the Y, or you can average, like that. <coughs> and if you want to reset everything, just press reset if you uh, screwed things up too bad. So let's say we want to take these shapes, planar map it, or we can individually planar map all of these. And when you select them all, like so, go to edit, you'll be able to manipulate them all at once. You should be able to. Well... And um, I'm not gonna mess around with this too much, uh, too much longer. You can, you're free to play around with it as, uh, as you wish. Um, <coughs> I think that's all for now when it comes to uh, simple, uh, just very, very simple mapping. And uh, I'll see you next time.